Well, we saw clouds and fog for most of the day in western Washington. The sun tried to break through, Craig, but uh, never quite made it today, did it? So sad. I know. I was watching and waiting and waiting and waiting. It just never happened. And I think we're turning the corner here, Mark and Jessica, with a number of storms lined up ready to come on in. And Mr. Riley's with me tonight. And I put him up on a high chair here because he's usually sleeping when I'm on the air. And people keep saying, where's Riley? Where's Cooper? Where's Clyde? Well, here's Riley taking a nap. Uh, let's get started with the shot from our studios. Uh, this camera on top of our studios in downtown Seattle. Uh, beautiful evening out there. Yeah, we're going to have some fog again tonight. Fog is pretty thick in some spots. Forks visibility down to a mile and a quarter. Same for Port Angeles. Bellingham, boy, you've just been in the super good part of the evening. 25 or a quarter of a mile earlier today now we're down to or up to three quarters of a mile but again we're gonna have some fog early tomorrow morning temperatures mostly into the 50s and low 60s most of us were in the 60s today i did see hey let's get up to 70. hey let's pause a moment with craig take a look at finn celebrating a sixth birthday happy birthday finn boy that is the coolest cake ever a little dog on there looks just like him uh cloudy tomorrow 56 degrees at 9 a.m by 3 p.m we've got 64 mostly cloudy with a chance for a few spotty showers i think most of those showers will be along the coast and from Everett up to the north right through Bellingham, Blaine, and the San Juan Islands. This is the UW high resolution model forecast model looking specifically at uh, wind by the arrows, the clouds, all the white, and of course we're looking for green for the rain. Notice a couple of light spotty showers across the northwest interior, but we've got a lot of storms lined up right behind this one. So let's fast forward to Friday evening. So Friday morning, drive for a good part of the morning, but 7.30, here comes the rain, picking up by the evening hours and overnight getting heavy. Saturday morning, 8 a.m., a whole lot of rain coming down. 5 p.m., pretty rainy and breezy. And then by the time we get into Sunday, we get another wave coming through with more rain. This is Sunday at 4.30, and then we'll get another wave th Sunday evening into Monday morning. So tonight, plan on some mid-50s and a lot of fog. If your highs tomorrow back up into the low to mid-60s per afternoon highs, very close to average for this time of year. We'll just get a couple peaks of sunshine tomorrow, not very much, and I do have a couple of raindrops on there. Again, most of that will be very light. If you get any rain, most of it will be less than a tenth of an inch of rain, 60s along the coast. We'll get up to about 70 Cleelum tomorrow, 76 in Wenatchee, 80 Yakima. Here's your seven-day forecast. So a couple of days of mid-60s. Saturday, with the rain coming in, we're going to have some cold, unsettled air, so the chance for thunderstorms and overnight lows will drop into the 40s for most spots. Saturday evening into Sunday, and Sunday's highs again back up into the mid 50s, rather. So get ready because the storm doors are about to open. I know there's that crisp, fresh air that's out there. You can feel the change, but boy, Greg and Mark, this weekend, get ready for a whole lot of rain and uh, maybe some soup and some nap time like this little guy, Riley, here. <laughs> yeah. Couldn't get him up. <laughs> He's been asleep all day. All right, thanks, Craig. Yeah.